no Morgana. So I was originally gonna go make this video with another person and we were gonna like run around a park with squirt guns and squirt each other in the face and it was gonna be great. But now I'm by myself and there's a rainstorm threatening, so... I guess we called it a challenge for a reason. Step number one for this particular challenge is going to be walking to the grocery store. Even though I don't really think I'm gonna end up spending my $4, I will feel the need to remind you that this is free. Pretty flowers. I'm very lucky that I live in a neighborhood where people actually care about their gardening. Cause I don't. First an obligatory check for duckies, then on to the real business. So I was gonna show you some sort of receipt to prove just how much that experience of buying chocolate chips cost, but they didn't give me one. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it that I have 21 cents left to spend. This house when we moved in had a bunch of like random crap in the basement. And so I was really hopeful that I could find a rubber duck without actually having to like find a rubber duck. Um, but as you can see from our really tiny bathroom, no rubber duckies. I know that we can probably find a rubber duck at Target, which means I have to bike there, which means I lose 10 cents and I better do this before the sun goes down. So, ready, go. So I just managed to break my key for my bike lock off inside my bike lock. So now I guess at least I have a reason to be here. Besides finding a rubber duck, of course. Then I went on an epic ducky seeking adventure. Wait, what the crap even is this? I mean, it's made out of rubber, but is that a pig? I, what? And are you freaking kidding me? It's a green hedgehog? Do kids even have rubber duckies these days? These are yellow, do they count? How about this, it's cute. This looks like a rubber duck, right? Eh, close enough. And then I bought the exact same freaking bike lock. I've always wanted to ride up this trail, so I'm just gonna do it and then leave a penny up here somewhere since uh, I still have 21 cents to burn. <laughs> no big cookies. So you start with some butter and you stick it in a bowl and you microwave it because you forgot to let your butter soften all day. Mmm, butter. Add some oats, add a little bit of sugar, and then some cinnamon, some cocoa powder, and a little bit of water. There you go, Katie. Then you add some vanilla, some peanut butter, yeah it might be a little hard to get out of the spoon, and some chocolate chips. Oh you liar, Katie, you're gonna use way more than that. Mix it all together. Then you make your finished dough into balls by squishing it together real well. Um, this is way easier with two hands, so you know, don't film yourself while making these. Drop them into powdered sugar, roll them around, set them on a cookie tray with wax paper, stick them in the fridge to chill out for a few minutes, and enjoy with tea and a good book and a probably very necessary shower. And that was the end of my day, but one of the things I really remember from doing this challenge is that I usually expect fun to be like, That was supposed to be a cartwheel. <laughs> I was expecting to have that kind of fun, but I didn't. I actually had the sort of like, this may be illegal, I don't know if I'm allowed to film myself in Target kind of fun, which was new to me and also just a blast. So I hope that was as much fun for you as it was for me. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to do the challenge, I'd love to see what y'all come up with. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Aw, well isn't that just a little bit horrifying?